hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your favorite girl survey test chuku jeku so please if you are just coming across my channel i would like you to subscribe like this video and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified as soon as i upload new and educative videos and also for my viewers who hasn't subscribed please do well and subscribe thank you so much so our today's topic is on how to plot contour lines using sofa okay so to be able to do this you have to get sofa installed in your system there are different versions of it so for me i'm using golden sofa okay this is it golden software sofa 20.1 okay so that's the software i'll be using i have it already installed okay so to start you should have this software installed in your system that's one then two you should have your data your excel data okay and this is mine i have mine here already in my excel you have column a your contours and column b the nothings column c the eastings and column d my height okay so you should have it already in tabular form in your excel file as an excel file so now you close that and open up your sofa so let's wait as it opens up okay so as soon as it opens up you you go to grids you can see grids here you click on it then you go to grid data you click on that it opens up a window so this window is where you will open up your excel file this is where you bring in those data you have in your excel file and of course make sure that it's Kriegin that is selected or highlighted so you go to browse click on browse and you navigate to where you have your excel format file saved so mine is on my desktop so i'll just go to desktop and i'll scroll down i saved it as lasbury college of health tech contour so this is my excel file holding my contour values my height values with the eastern and nothings okay so i will select it and click on open now i will go down to next i'll click okay sorry before you do that make sure that your x y z are in the right way in the right order as you save them in your excel so in my excel data let's go back then um here it is you can see that in my excel the way i arranged it a column is for the contours b is for nothings c is for eastings and d is for heights so you go back to your sofa and make sure that it's in the right order my x x is for eastings so and my eastings is in column c so I'll select column c then my nothings which is y is in columns b so I will leave it as it is. Then my grid and uh, my height data, which is Z column, is in D column in my Excel file. So after arranging it this way, no, you know this is my own format, my own arrangement. Your own arrangement can be in any way it is. Yours, your height may come first, or your eastings may come first. Just make sure that you set it out the way it is here. So the next thing you do is you click on next. Also you click on next. As well you click on next. Next. And then finally you click on finish. So you say yes, say replace existing. Yes, I had an existing grid file there. So I'll replace it because that one is of no use to me anymore. Okay okay it's running it you wait 
patiently for it to finish running now it says grid file with the file directory you can see the file directory has been created you now say okay then this is your grading report you close it no i don't want to save any changes i just say no now this is the contour it has been created so what i will now do is i will make settings to this now if you look at the table of contents you see map you see right axis you see left axis you see top axis you see bottom axis this is just showing you the axis of this contour this is the top this is the right this is the bottom and this is the left axis now depending on your need if you do not have need for Le uh, for your right axis and the top axis you can come here tick it off tick it off okay you see the way it is but like me i like to have all my axes so i will leave them all ticked now i want to make some changes to this contour before i will export changes like the contour interval and also changes like setting the coordinate system so what I will do is, I will come here and click in the middle. I will click and it brings out some tabs and windows for you to make those settings. So you see coordinate system here, coordinate system tab. I will click on it. Here, I will set my coordinate system. I will just click on set. And then you can see geographic, you can see projected and you can see templates okay so i'll click on projected i'll click on utm depending on the coordinate system you want to use so for my country nigeria we use utm universal traverse Mercator. so i'll click on utm nigeria is in africa so depending on your continent you select your continent a continent so i'll click on africa and then I will scroll down to my country, Nigeria. You can see the list of countries in Nigeria. So you scroll down to Nigeria. I will scroll down to your country, as the case may be. So I click on Nigeria, and it gives me the two coordinate systems under UTM. So for my location, my location falls under zone 32. So I will select it. It depends if your location falls under zone 31, you select zone 31. So I'll select zone 32N and then I'll click OK. Now my contour has been set to this coordinate system. You can see it's name MENA UTM zone 32N. Okay, so everything has been set. You can see the datum, the datum is MENA. Okay, everything has been set for the coordinate system now we move over to other tabs to check for any other adjustments we want to make go to level here in level tab, you can set the contour interval the contour interval is in 0 0.5 0 0.5 and as you can see in this contour interval the contours are scattered as in there's so much space in between them so I want to close up this space by changing the contour interval. So I'll go to contour interval, select it, and type point zero point one. Okay, you can see it's now closed up. There's no much spaces again. Okay, so having done this, you now move on. You check if there are other, you know settings you want to make for me i think that's all for now that's all check for layer okay check info check general so think that's all all the changes and adjustments you want to make you can go to the axis okay to check the axis you click on one of the labels okay here you check for the labels if there's any adjustments you want to make so for me 
the levels are okay so i don't need to make any adjustment so that's it guys i'm done with every adjustment so the next thing i will do is to export this to autocad so to do that i'll go to file and mind you you can export to different formats if you want to get this to google earth you can also export it to google earth format but for this video i'm exporting to autocad okay so now we export to autocad like i said i'm exporting to autocad so you click on export then you navigate to the folder you want to save in for me i'm saving mine to the desktop i'll select desktop and then i'll type the file name so i'll just name it raspberry raspberry Two. let me just put two there so I'll click save now here you can make some exports exports of export settings okay you go to DXF options okay you choose the latest file compatibility the last one which is AutoCAD 2007 or later okay you select that and click OK and wait for it to export wait for it to export now there it has finished exporting so the next thing to do is to go to where you saved it remember guys we selected desktop so we go to desktop and search for it so this is it raspberry contour 2 you open it okay you can see it in autocad now it's open it's opening okay it's still opening you can see it on the opening and autocad 2007 so my autocad version is 2018 and this is autocad civil 3d okay so it has finished opening but you can't see it what you do is you click any of the zoom tools right click and click on zoom extent so i'll click on pan right click click on zoom extents and this is it guys so this is your contour okay so the next thing to do is to select all and give it a brown color a brown color remember that contours are usually represented with brown color so i'll just select all and assign brown color to it so i use color 23 okay now you can see it has changed the color has turned to brown the color of the contours is now brown so this is it guys you can also change your axis labels to black or white it depends on your choice so this is it this is how to create your contour lines okay using sofa so here on autocad you can now add your frame you can add your title can also add all other informations maybe the credentials of the surveyor that will be signing it or whoever that will be certifying these very contour lines and after that you print and you present to your client or to your architect or to the engineer that will be utilizing this so this is it guys thank you so much for your time in my next video i'll be showing you how to plot your spot heights and in subsequent ones i'll also show you how to plot your 3d wireframe so stay tuned for more educative videos thank you so much for your time please click on the thumbs up subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you'll be notified as soon as i upload the spot heights the wireframe videos see you next time bye